And it's another warm welcome from the studios of BRTK in Lefkosha. It's time for a cup of conversation. I'm your host, Chan Gazi. And I'm very honored today to have three lovely ladies with me, three beautiful souls in the studios with me. We have two old friends and one new guest in the program. First of all, hello to the lovely Dimitri Mustafaolu. Hello to Katie Ekonomidou. And also hello to Punar Gundal. We're talking about a wonderful concert for SOS. We're going to be talking about concerts without borders and beyond, going beyond music, beyond the borders, beyond love. There is love and music on the program today. So, ladies, welcome to the show. Thank you. Hello. Good to be here again. It's great to have you here, and I always say this, that you amaze me with your energy, Dimitra. Every six months for the past two years, you've been on my program. You go to America, you come back. You go to Turkey, you come back. You are back like a boomerang. Are you sure you're not Australian <laughs> by, by descent? I have some Aussies in my family. <laughs> <laughs> but Demetra, as we all know, is a soprano, she is a Grammy List nominee, she is a great friend of the island of Cyprus, married to Mehmet Mustafaolu, cultural attaché to Los Angeles from the TRNC, and she's had many, many concerts around the world, including here, and here you are again in North Cyprus, ready for another concert coming up on the 11th of November. Nature called and we're here. I spoke with Derviche online from America and she said, let's do something. And I said, I'm yours. Tell me what you need. I'm so happy to make the acquaintance. I now have new friends, a new student. I have this sweetheart as a new friend also, thank Pinar. You, you. Katie, my old friend, is going to do her first performance at the Abbey, a dream of hers that we are so excited to be a part of and help the kids because they are the future. They are the future. <sighs> yeah, they are. Every time you come to the island and you do a concert, it's for a special cause. I know you uh, raised money for the Kamal Sahajol, the Child Akimi Foundation. You help many, many causes. And this week, we are on the program talking about SOS. And uh, Panar Gundal is representing SOS today. Welcome to the show, Panar. Hello, thank you. And you are a coordinator, aren't you, for SOS? A very new person to the SOS family. How exactly. long have you been there now? Yeah, for four months now. What is your background, Panar? What did you study? What is your profession, really? I, I, I'm a teacher, actually. I studied foreign language education. But uh, I studied HR management as well. I was working for HR for years now. But after a while, I said, OK, now I'm a mom, and I'm done with corporate companies. And, anymore I don't want to do that anymore yeah. and I realized I want to work with children I'm not really I, I have never worked with, for an NGO before actually it's my yeah. first time here mm -hmm. but I love it I love working for children so what's your exact title at SOS what's your uh, job is sponsorship and communications coordinator I'm dealing with the international sponsors all over the world because mm -hmm. that's how it works actually we have so many sponsorships around the world uh, I deal with them and I'm responsible for the communications, internal and external as well. The social media, the radio, the television and, and what kind of activities we can do for fundraising as well. I'm responsible for that. And that's why you're here today. <laughs> talk about this on television and on radio. I know you've been on the radio as well. So <laughs> First time, I'm, I'm such a newbie now, but I'm still learning and but trying to adapt, but I love it. But you're in very good company today. Exactly, yeah. I'm so happy about it. They're very nice, very experimental, <laughs> actually. Yeah, I'm so happy to be with them. Thank you for joining us as well. Thank yeah. you for taking time out today, uh, Panar. Great to meet you. Thank you. And the lovely Katie Economidou. You've been on my program before. I've been a few years. <laughs> but it's great to have you here. And you have such great energy with Demetra. Yes, we do. You are a metal soprano This is what they say. This is what they say. This is what they claim. <laughs> well, if you ask the teacher, Hello. she's really a huge dramatic soprano, but Katie saves herself for sharing song, mm -hmm. so she doesn't step out of the boundaries of comfort in listening or performing. That is a huge instrument. Thank you, but I'm growing older, you see, and the older you get, the apparently the voice goes lower. Yeah. So I don't push boundaries. I mean, yeah, I in all my throughout all my life I've been breaking boundaries. So I said, now, okay, you may rest within your mezzo soprano. I'm a contralto almost, but it's okay. It's a gift, 
and I offer it and I love offering it and I love doing it for the whole of the island. There is no discrimination when it comes to a disease, to an illness, to cancer, um, to children with special needs, to people in need. Who cares if it's a Greek or a Turk or uh, you know whoever? It's a children. It's a child soul. It's a human being. There we are. Um, this is my goal in life. This is what I do, um, and I'm very pleased. At night, when I go, you know, time to close my eyes and rest, I've done my duty. So, and I'm so happy that Dimitra came on my way and uh, we've connected so deeply. Um, we don't even have the chance to, you know, to argue. I mean, I tried a couple of times to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it doesn't I'm older than you are, honey, it so that's why. It doesn't come out right, you know. It's a, so, I mean, I gave up. <laughs> oh, and, shoot. yeah. It, no, it was a blessing for me to meet Katie. It changed my life. I think it's a blessing for everyone to have such wonderful artists like you here on our small island, that you are giving so much of your own time, your own energy to support wonderful causes like SOS or any other charity that you are working with. And it's an honor to have you guys here today to speak about uh, Concerts Without Borders. And it's just right for you, this name, because like you said, no borders. Mm. Doesn't matter what nationality you are, whether you are male, female, old, young, who cares? Everyone needs help every now and then in their lives, and you are here to provide that help. So we are very honored to have you here, Katie, on the I'm program. Very and just to actually reiterate that Katie is representing the Greek Cypriot contingent in the Without Borders side, and of course, uh, the lovely American uh, soprano with her heart in <laughs> North Cyprus. Uh, Dimitra and uh, representing the TRNC is a lovely uh, Panar. May, now, I, may I just correct you? I don't represent anyone but myself. So. Okay. Yeah. Of course, you are Katie. Yeah. Economido, <laughs> and everyone knows you. And I'm a Cypriot. I mean, I happen to be born a few meters southern of the Green Line. Yeah. I could have been born just anywhere. Yeah. And that's why I chose to sing both in Greek and Turkish at the concert because it's my culture. This is Cyprus. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's one Good whole. Girl, Katie. Well done, bravo. Mm -hmm. And you are actually a, a guide, aren't you? By trade, oh by God. trade, <laughs> you, you are a tour guide. I am. So uh, you are very, very uh, well accomplished with the island, and you know every corner of our beautiful country. I take country. people around. Uh, when I decide I want to, I mean, I don't do it as a profession. I work, as you know, in tourism, but not as a guide. I just do it when I go out, when my friends ask me, and we hire a bus, and we all share the bus, and we just go out um, to see the corners of Cyprus, to see the beauties. And these are corners and beauties that I discover while I am traveling. You know, um, in this, at this late age, I decided to have a boyfriend. And my boyfriend is a black Audi, Q3. He <laughs> takes me literally <laughs> everywhere. He's Most reliable, <laughs> he's safe, you know, he's very affectionate, so. You don't have to cook for him, do the laundry. <laughs> only <laughs> fill up. Yeah, only, only <laughs> up the petrol. Check the tires from time to time. <laughs> Service. So, I mean, I felt last night I was in, up in Carmi, it was dark, you know. Uh, in the village and I had to go for a rehearsal and I felt very comfortable and very safe, safe, very secure with uh, my Audi. So when I talk to friends about people and places that I visit, they want to, to, to get to know them and that's, that's why I do the guiding. And most of the times we may share an amount more than what the bus wants and we give this a small donation to a foundation every time. So now we are going to include SOS as well. So my, guide, my guided tours are for charity. So. Fantastic, well done. Well, let me just remind everyone now, let me tell you all about the concerts. Concerts Without Borders are benefiting SOS Children's Village beyond opera, Broadway and pop. And this is at Belapais Abbey 
November the 11th. It's a Sunday matinee performance at 6 p.m. And aside from Dimitri George Mostafa Olu and Katie Ekonomidou, who are my guests on the program today, we have Dervishe Cherkez Guriel, who's also uh, Vice President of the SOS Children's Village. We have Fikri Toros, who is an MP and also classical pianist. We have Muharrem Jemolu Strings, accompanies Yulia Staraskava. Uh, something yeah. like that. Sorry, We're Yulia, for my bad pronunciation of your <laughs> name. And also, two young rising stars, Peri Soab and Kaira Guriel. And uh, we'll talk more about how you can get tickets and more about the concert, but these are the people performing, and this is amazing. So, this is something different from the last time you were here because you had. Oh, it was Disney last Disney time. Disney last time. Well, with you and Atesh and Perry and lots of other people doing uh, lots of costume changes. Yes, yes. Now, this is something a bit more quiet. Who yes. actually organised? Who got everyone together, Demetra? Me. You. So you said, I found everyone, and you said, this, 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 and this. Everyone's coming together. Everyone's yes, singing, performing. Of course, yeah. It's all you're doing. I have assistants. I have. Uh, Eje Suop, and she's my production assistant, and Hatije Karim Gil is our uh, PR person. Mm -hmm. But first phone call I made was to this young lady saying, would you like to sing at the Abbey? And the young lady said, although I'm getting older, I will sing. <laughs> I will sing. <laughs> and because Katie and Fikri and I received the Cultural Diplomacy Award from the U.S. Ambassador mm -hmm. from the State Department. I thought it was absolutely perfect to have that trio performing. And again, everyone's busy. So some of the show has been rehearsed separately. She was last night with Fikri at Carmi rehearsing. I've had rehearsals at my house with the rising stars, the pianist and the uh, strings. Yeah. And we will put dress rehearsal on stage the 10th and on the 11th a great show it will be a great show because I know your shows are fantastic and with wonderful talent like this it'll be an afternoon or an early evening to remember let's now go back to, to Punal because I want to stress the importance of supporting SOS okay. now we all know SOS Children's Village it's right opposite to our station here <laughs> so we're, we're neighbors literally <laughs> across the road and SOS is an international organization right and it supports the children, the, the orphans, the, the underprivileged children here on the island. Um, the children in need. Tell us, a bit about, tell us a bit more about SOS in your words. Exactly, yeah. SOS believes that no child should grow up alone. They should have a caring and stable family and in a supportive community, actually. They should be integrated into the community as well. So we provide family-like support for children or young people who need uh, who lost actually their parental care or who are in the risk of losing their parental care. So they, they don't have to be orphaned to get into the SOS. Uh, they have different social reasons to lose their families, to lose their, their parental care actually. So we provide this. We have uh, 11 houses now. We have 56 children in the village. Mm -hmm. uh, between uh, their birth till 15 years old, they stay in the village. They stay with the families. Uh, each house has a mum, and every two houses has an aunt. So the aunt and the family, like, they're coordinated all the time. It's not easy to just take care of six kids for a, for a mom. Uh, and after that, we send these kids when they're 15 or 16. It depends. We, we have a pedagogical ac uh, team, actually. They, yes. che they check out everything, how they develop, how, how they, your attitude actually develops. So uh, after they're 15 or 16, we transfer them to the youth, center, youth, house, youth houses in Kyrenia. Mm -hmm. uh, they stay there, and after a while, they stay there like three years. After a while, they live in a semi-independent program. Like they rent a house, we pay for the rent, we, we actually support them financially until they are like fully independent. Uh, if they are uh, working, the program lasts like three years. If they are studying in a college or university, the program lasts like four or five years. Uh, and after that, uh, they are in the independent program, but they actually never cut out their relationship with the SOS. Mm -hmm. They come to see their moms, they come to see their SOS siblings that they grow up with, they come to see their childhood friends in the village, or even if they have a family, whatever they need, like they come and uh, 
ask for us. So it's a lifelong relationship that from the start. Yes, once you are part of SOS, it's SOS for life. Exactly, isn't it? yeah, that's what it is. So, Pernod, what type of children come to SOS? I know it's a very difficult subject yeah. to talk about because <laughs> it's very, very emotional for some people. Uh, it's not something that we talk about here very often in our country, but there must be children who maybe come from uh, poor families, do children could be looked after, maybe in a dangerous situation at home. Do they, do they come through social services to you? Yeah, they come from social services. Actually, mm -hmm. they all have their backgrounds and they all have different stories. Yeah. But what we know is they really need support and love and, and a safe family yeah. place that they can live, they can continue their lives actually in. Um, should I talk about their backgrounds? They're all different. Yeah. Some of them doesn't have mom, some of them doesn't have their, they lost their dads. Yeah. Uh, mom cannot financially support the family, so we need to take out the kids. Um, some of them are like abandoned for nothing. Yeah. Like anything can happen to the kids. So uh, we're, we're here for all the kids actually. After social services, we got them, because it's not an institution actually, it's like family like care that we're providing. Yeah. It's a wonderful location. Yeah. It's a very nice environment at SOS in Nevkosha. And the, the point here is that you need support financially exactly. all the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's where you get people donating money, people can sponsor a child, a house maybe, they can just give a, a, a one-off donation or maybe regular donations. We'll talk about that a little bit later on, but you, the main thing here is that you need support and that's why it's very good to have a concert like this to exactly, give. Exactly, yeah. We, we, as SOS, we appreciate what they're trying to do actually yeah. for children, for kids. Well, and, yeah. and as a young mother, you really understand how important that support is. Can, I, I, I can't imagine not having had my mother. Yeah. Think about it, Katie, you too. Look how yeah. a mother influences your entire life. I wish, I wish, John, that uh, your program, this effort, would bring awareness to the whole of the island about the work of the SOS yeah. and also the work of a uh, similar foundation we have in the South and yeah. they to cooperate and more effort is put jointly um, and they share experience and good practices and support, get support from outside. Yeah. Together it would be fantastic because, I mean, it's for me unimaginable to, 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 to have a good life, to have a comfortable life. Uh, Christmas is coming, we are celebrating, Bayram is coming, we are celebrating. And these people are just marginalized. They are forgotten there. Yeah. But there are these wonderful volunteers and wonderful workers like Pinar who, you know, give their soul into it. So let us all contribute. I think the, it's a duty above all. And I agree totally. We need to contribute. And in fact, tickets are only 30 Turkish Lira for this concert for Concert Without Borders and Beyond Opera, Broadway and Pop. And you can get tickets, we'll repeat it again at the end of the interview, but at Glory Jeans and the Dennis Plaza shops around the island and also from the artists themselves, I'm sure from SOS as exactly. well. ESK. And we'll give, you, we'll give you more information towards the end of the interview. But please, please, 30 TL is nothing for a great afternoon out in November here in the TRNC with wonderful artists who are world renowned, who have traveled the world literally to come to our island to, to be with us today. So, Demetra, opera, Broadway and beyond. I mean, I know you and I have a very similar taste in music because aside from the opera, I love Broadway, I love pop. I saw recently that you, you've posted and I read the interview, I mean, I read the um, article about how um, Steven Spielberg has got the rights for my favourite, favourite musical of all time, West Side Story, Is next year, incredible? although I'm very sceptical about how they will cut the... I'm very nervous also, but you know, it's just been Leonard Bernstein's 100th year birthday. So, so. I am opening the show with a piece from West Side Story. That's the reason to go. <laughs> That's the reason to go. Um, and recently, I saw a film, A Star is Born, with Lady Gaga in that <gasps> Barbara Streisand role back in the 70s. Oh my God, amazing again. So, you know, Broadway and pop and opera, you know, I heard, we all heard, 
a wonderful snippet of Ave Maria by the lovely Katie Okikonomidu, and she was amazing. You are amazing as well. So, you know what, I'm going to, before you, before you change your mind, I would love for you, please, right now, to do <laughs> a bit of Ave Maria for yeah, me. Yeah, I would love to, but it's impossible while sitting. While I'm, sitting. Not, I'm not that trained. Why don't you ask Dimitra to perform something? Because she can do anything anywhere. Any, you know, oh, yeah. under any conditions. Basketball, back to you, my dear. No. <laughs> I, know. You are the big I know you sis. wanted to save this. You are the big sis. You have to, big sister, you have to save it. I know you to this as a surprise. Mm -hmm. But you were sort of like trying something out before the program started. A time to say goodbye? Eva. Do that together, start, please. You start because I don't do that part. I can do the others. Come oh. on, do that for us. I the did. two of you together. You pass Ella. the buck to each other. A little bit for us. Come on, Katie. Let's pretend we are among friends and yes. nobody else is watching us. Nobody yes. else is watching us. Everyone is a friend here. It's us. Please. Quanto sono solo sogno l'orizzonte manca le parole. Si lo so che non c'è luce in una stanza quanto manca il sole. Se non ci sei tu con me, con me. Sulle finestre mostra tutti il mio cuore che hai acceso, chiudi dentro me la luce che hai incontrato per strada. Time to say goodbye. And this was just on the spot, me asking you, and you didn't say no to me. Thank you very much, Katie and Demetria, for that wonderful duet. And more from them at Concerts Without Borders and beyond opera, Broadway, and pop. Amazing. So you decided to get everyone together. You're obviously doing this while you're in America because you only recently came to... I do this. Yeah. Yes. You're in America because you went back after your last concert. You had your second grandchild born. <laughs> you spent your summer in uh, America. Yes. I follow you on Facebook no, all the time. No summer. We didn't go to the beach until we came back to Cyprus. We've been twice, but it was babies and diapers and crying and <laughs> ah, mom, mom. But it was wonderful and exciting. And so I, I wrote everybody and I said, let's help SOS. Dervishe, talk to me. Let's do it. I mean, look. Life isn't any good unless you give it back. I know Jesus said, cast the bread on the waters and it comes back tenfold. It's the same all over the world. If you don't share it, it doesn't mean anything. Why have a gift if you can't share it? That's why I love teaching. And speaking of that, last time we were here, we had Atesh and Peri. Um, we're going again in a couple of weeks to Istanbul to do a charity event, again, for Yada Tadjou, Chodjuklar Dernayi. And it's going to be in one of the big theaters, and it's going to be a night at the movies again with Disney songs and Broadway. So we can share a little of the Western culture. There will be Turkish also, and lots of English, and costumes and lights and sets, so very exciting. So this for Perry actually is a, a rehearsal for what's coming up, mm -hmm. but for me, this is having fun with my friends. It is fun for you guys because, you know, you enjoy your work 
or you enjoy singing so much and sharing your beautiful voices with us that it feels like just having fun all the time. Yeah. When you're up there on the stage, I've seen you so many times, and uh, you know, it's just like you're having fun with your family, your friends out there singing oh, to. Wait till you see Katie. Yeah. She just she talks to everybody like she's known them for a hundred years. I love it. Everyone Probably I do. Yeah. I do. But the thing is that um, if you are um, a true um, let's say a genuine, or you are trying to be a genuine human being, uh, of course you have fun because you know life is fun. There is, or you can make it fun because there are so many tragic events around us. Um, Dimitra a while ago spoke about her cancer. My husband is also suffering of cancer. So it's so close to us, it's near, it's within us. Um, it's a big effort to overcome. Uh, it's a personal struggle, but it's a collective struggle. What can we do? We can offer a relief for the human being. We can offer a relief to people who lost their parents, who are orphans, who are... We can offer relief who, to children who happen to be born um, with a special gift or a special, let's say, um, something that deprives them of living. Now you, now you have to talk yeah. to Katie about her conflict uh, negotiations gift. So <laughs> talk to her because this is all a part of her persona. No, maybe you should talk to Mr. Akinju about it if he wants uh, <laughs> an assistant or something. Okay, honey. <laughs> Volunteer, no. raise your hand. <laughs> No, but I mean, um, we are having fun not because we are, um, you know, we don't know what is going around in the world. We are very aware. Um, we don't play it stupid. We just try to convert the negative energy into positive. Yeah. And I learned a lot from Dimitra. Um, a lot of things I don't agree with here, maybe. Uh, or I don't, I cannot do. I couldn't be part of this. Um, Disney thing, yeah. you know, changing. Unless I would pretend to be a pumpkin or something. I don't know. <laughs> no. But <laughs> um, at the end of the day, it's beautiful because it, it comes out naturally and spontaneously and genuinely. And it is to offer. It's not about us, you know, become, you know, stars and I don't know what. And it is across borders because there are no border, borders in that. And Jesus said something else. I'm not religious, but he said, whoever may come to ask for eleos, for um, help, for aid, may not be someone you will recognize immediately. Could be anything, manifested into anything. So SOS is part of you know, this gesture. Yeah. Um, other foundations, other human beings, we have to keep our eyes open and be conscious and aware because it's, it's everywhere nowadays. It's so close to us. So many people are deprived of the very basic. I can see north and south. We are a tiny island, as you said, so, and there is so much um, that needs to be taken care of and so many. I'm things. glad you said that, Katie, because a clean cypress still exists. It's getting ready to relaunch. Mm -hmm. We're doing a cleanup in conjunction with um, uh, the Belledia in Girne uh, on the 8th, and we're getting ready to put up a website. So we really want to keep this place beautiful. If we poison the soil, if we poison the water, we poison the air, there's nothing left for anyone, and the no. children won't know what to do. It's up to us, so I will come back and visit with you about that. You're more than welcome. Thank you, John. The, this studio is always open to you, to thank everyone you. of you. Thank you. You thank are wonderful people. I, I really am humbled by how generous you are with your time, because it's not only on that date that you are giving your time up, but all the rehearsals, as you said, Katie, last night you were in Kami <laughs> with Fikri Toros, uh, doing your rehearsals with him, you're having rehearsals at home, and you have family time, you've got to have time here to pick your olives while you're here. I know that Mehmet loves his olives picking. He's doing it right now. Okay, hello Mehmet with your <laughs> olives. And uh, you know, you really do have a lot of energy which is positive energy, and I think everyone out there should take the time out to follow your examples. And if you do have the afternoon free on the 11th of November, 
6 p.m. Bella Pais Abbey, one of my favorite places on the whole island. Uh, go along and enjoy music. What more could you want from life? And John, there will be wine and uh, soft drinks for sale, yeah. but there will also be free treats like uh, finger food for everyone. Yeah. So it's six o'clock. Come enjoy the concert. Bring your children. You can still get them home in time for bed, yeah. but still feed them a little snack. It's definitely them over. a family show. Absolutely. For the all ages. Exactly. The children are singing some things from Disney, of course, <laughs> and, yeah. and children's musicals. And of course, Katie and I picked our favorites to sing, too. We're ask, we, we can talk about what we're singing. Go ahead. Uh, I'm singing um, a prayer uh, by Schubert. I won't say what. <laughs> no, I mean, everyone <laughs> knows which. I'm, um, I'm singing a, a, an aria. Uh, and then in the second part, I'm singing my favorite songs, um, a song that exists both in uh, Greek and Turkish, Nefeli, Jadeler de Ruzgar. Um, and it was originally, of course, a composition of Lorena McKennett. It's, it's neither Greek or Turkish. Um, I'm singing Kardeş Duimaz by Zülfü Livaneli because I adore this uh, music. Yeah. I can't wait to hear it. I don't know it. And uh, I'll do well as well Chrysoprasino Philo, which is uh, a song that talks about Cyprus. I think it's in the hearts and the genes of every one of us. Um, it describes what our island is, a composition by Migis Theodoragis and lyrics by Leonidas Malenis. Uh, and then we can do some, a couple of surprises with Dimitra. And you know what? Um, whoever is part of that, uh, of the performance that day, is like every one of us performing our duties. The performance is not just on stage, it's the performance of all of us for the for a better humanity, for the yeah, good of the humanity. Exactly. So I, I urge people, I call people to come. For Greek Cypriots who want to cross over and come over, uh, and I'm sure they will love it. It's, it's only five euros, you know, it's just a coffee at one of our cafes. So please, let's, let's do it. Let's give it for, for the children. I think that's wonderful what you said, Katie. And to remind people, I think you'd have to get on an airplane and go somewhere else to hear what you'll be hearing at this concert. Yeah. I'm, I'm singing some opera, some fun opera, and um, some Broadway. Uh, and I think you won't find this anywhere else except at the Abbey yeah. in this concert. And actually, this show should go on the road, Katie. Mm. We should do mm. this for other charities. Why not? Why places. not? If anyone else wants to uh, support them, uh, mm these wonderful people, then you can call them for your charity as well. Reminding you once again, the concert on the 11th of November features not only Katie and Dimitra, but also Figitoros on the piano. We have Moharem Jamaldo on strings. Delvishe Cherkes Gurya will be performing. Also, Yulia Sarastrovinska. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Yulia, I'm yeah. really, really bad. She's an accompanist. <laughs> and two rising stars, Peri Swab and Kaira Guriel. And uh, as you have on the poster, the late great leader, Mosvay Kemal Atatürk, said, you are the rose, the star, the light of our future. You are the ones who will enlighten our country. And that's all about the children. And this is what this concert is all about, the children of SOS and supporting this wonderful charity, this wonderful cause in uh, the capital of Kosher. And uh, Punal, I'd like to ask you, how can people help? I mean, OK, we can go to this concert, but you need help throughout the whole year, don't you? Yeah, exactly. So how can, I mean, I know that people can come and maybe make an appointment to see you, to see what's going on there. Uh, how do the public help you? How can we help you throughout the whole year? They're always welcome in the village, actually. Mm -hmm. If they want to donate, they are always welcome in the village. Yeah. Um, they can send SMS to 4120. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have bank accounts, actually. Maybe we can have them on screen maybe I can share it with you yeah so they can just uh, pay up money on on that these and they can pay from salaries as well they they uh, <coughs> they sign a contract so we take out money from their uh, wonderful yeah telephone bills yes each and every month so mm -hmm. that's how we make money but we actually, don't have the chance to sorry to stop you there we don't have the chance to put the bank account numbers up yet but which bank is it all different banks that you have yeah, yeah. so you can go if you go to a bank and say, I would like to donate money to SOS. They have the 
account there open already? They should, yeah. Also, I know that people can sponsor you, can't you? They can sponsor maybe a house a, or a, a child. House and, and a house and a child, yeah, yeah. exactly. They, they can do that annually, actually. They can they can annually sponsor a family house. I hope there will be some brochures at the event to explain this to people because I think that's an incredible idea. Yeah. And I don't know if you have any exchange with SOS on the rest of the island, but how wonderful it would be if we could just pack this show up and take it mm. there. So what we do for one, we do for the other. Yeah. Exactly. Sometimes we have some special needs for the kids. Some need some glasses, some need ballet clothes. Yeah. Yeah, they, they can pay for that one as well. Mm -hmm. So everyone's welcome to go along to exactly. SOS. Whenever and, they want. And just see what's going on there and help in any way they want. Yeah, well, a little bit or a, a lot, it doesn't matter. We, we would love to tell more about what we do actually, because yeah. it's not just the children inside there. We also have different programs. We have that family strengthening program in SOS. So before the children come into the village actually, we try to stop, we try to make the family stay together. We, mm -hmm. we train them, we make them accessible to reach the health, and education for the kids yeah. around. And there are so many children out there. We don't even know. Yeah, but it's very important to support exactly. uh, SOS, yeah. especially at this time of the year with Christmas around the corner, <laughs> New yeah. Year, and maybe giving donations of presents. I know that sometimes they had, we, we used to have um, lots of local people wrapping up toys yeah, and giving them to, donating them to the, to the children. Yeah. Is anything happening this year? Do you know if anything is happening? Uh, actually, we're going to start a New Year campaign very yeah. soon. Maybe we can come with the campaign here yeah, why <laughs> so not? we can why talk not? in details. So I don't exactly know what's going to happen, but it's all, but it's all about soon. the children's wishes for Christmas, what they want oh, from the New Year. Wonderful. Mm. Can you read out that number again for a blank message donating via telephone? What's the yes. message number again it's that we donate? 4120. And how much is that that you donate? Is that 10? Whatever they want. Whatever you want. So you write down the number that you want to donate. Exactly. Like 10 or 20 TL. Yes. And you send the SMS for, the, for that number. Fantastic. 4120, you yep. said. 4120. And it doesn't matter which operator. It could no, be, they, it doesn't. It doesn't yeah. matter. So if you can't go to the concert but you want to help, then 4120 is the number to uh, send a, a message to on your mobile phone and you donate money however much you want to SOS. And, and we, we're going to have online donation as well very soon. The website is under construction now. It's going to yeah. be open very soon. Right, it's so you can find out more and donate online as well. Exactly, yeah. From your account. Yeah. Very good, very <laughs> good. Uh, well done, Panada, for showing that with us as well. And uh, you have brought everyone together. Do you ever stop, Dimitra? Do you ever say, this is not for me? <laughs> My or grandfather used to say, oh, you're always working. Why don't you slow down? I said, I'll do that when I die. I love what I do. I love bringing people together like Katie. What else is there in life? Yeah. That's living together. Katie, I mean, when you get a message, because sometimes she messages me in America <laughs> and I get a bing and I look at it's Demetra. They, Okay, she's coming soon. What's going on now? She's always very organized. So I bet you get a message like me or maybe a phone call from Demetra. Uh, are you always excited to be part of these type of concerts? I know that you are very hard working, but you know, how often? I think she not hides. Not always. <laughs> 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 tell the truth, Katie. Tell the truth. That headache again. That no, uh, I'm joking. It's no, I've tried to get Katie on other concerts. Yeah, she She's tried. Very busy too. I know. I'm, I'm be it's not only I'm busy. I'm, I, I'm, I admire Dimitra for what she does, and I know you know I'm an amateur. I mean, I do it. It's my hobby. Okay, I got. Um, I'm not a professional. I, I did my my professional, no, I mean my music studies in, in Cyprus and in England. Okay, I got my diploma in classical singing because I wanted to give my children the paradigm of when you start something, when you begin something, you know, you close it, you, you complete it. But then my dream, Jan, is, um, is to see this island come back to normal. Um, I like what I see, you know, normal life not to have all this tension every time, you know, when it comes to our relations, to the future, to our resources. And I think I witness nowadays that we are being kind to each other. There is kindness. And the more of activities that Dimitra does, 
bring more kindness to, to the island. Yeah. And it's I'm planting seeds. Here. I'm staying here with Katie. <laughs> it's planting <laughs> seeds, you know, planting more seeds yeah. for work uh, like Pinar's efforts to grow. And for me, this is beautiful. And I like to be part of when I receive phone calls from Dimitra or messages. At the same time, I'm also in other activities which I love doing, like driving, you know, meeting people, sitting in coffee shops in the north, meeting with people. I collect stories of Turkish Cypriots who mm -hmm. spoke Greek, elderly Turkish Cypriots, yes. whom life has deprived me of being with, of meeting, of growing together. I'm running, Jan, to catch up with time. I don't have much no. time. I'm 60 years old. And I'm trying to live what I lost all these decades. I'm being honest with you. I'm thrilled when Dimitra calls, but then I have my own itineraries. And I, want, I would love very much to go as a volunteer at the SOS, not just being, you know, telling people when I guide, this is the SOS, yeah. you know, be aware. I want to be part of it. And my stories are stories that I know of. I don't publish, I don't go public. I share with friends, I share on the bus, I share everywhere. But then it's all this um, so deeply rooted love for my island. I love every bit of it, um, every single seashore, every single bird singing, every single leaf uh, from the trees. There's no place like home is the bottom no line. Is, yes, is the bottom line. She oh speaks God. so well. And, you know, I mean, I think Pinar's getting tears in her eyes. <laughs> uh, and I'm getting, I'm getting all uh, goosebumps uh, on my arms. You, you are wonderful people, all of you, doing such wonderful work for charity. Let's just round up now because we're coming towards the end of the interview. Tickets at 30TL, but you are selling them uh, five, euros. five euros. So I converted it, I so hope it's <laughs> Hopefully uh, our friends from the south of the border will come along, or anyone from uh, anywhere can come along for five euros if you don't have Turkish lira. Gloria Jeans in uh, the TRNC, these plaza shops are selling the tickets at the moment, and also... ESK. ESK, the English School of Kyrie, because that's where uh, Perry goes as well, doesn't she? Perry and, and, and Kyrie, and, yes. And uh, Kyra. So if you are a student or a parent at uh, ESK, you can get tickets there. And also from the, the artists themselves, so please... And why don't you show the poster, maybe? And the, the poster, so you can see it. Uh, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, <laughs> uh, online, on Facebook, it's everywhere. Uh, see this poster, get your tickets and go along to Bullet Pines Abbey on the 11th of November. And I want to say thank you ladies, thank Demetra, you Panar Great and Katie for coming today. Good luck with the concert. Thank you. Have fun. Thank you, we will. Raise lots of money. Oh, Inshallah. <laughs> Inshallah, I know you will. Uh, you are a great bunch of people. All of the people here are talented people giving their time free of charge for a wonderful cause and I wish you all the best. What a great way to to really get into the, the mood of uh, Christmas and New Year. Go to a concert. Thanksgiving. Have a great time. And Thanksgiving too. Mm -hmm. And Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And what a great way to, to spend the, the beginning of autumn here in North Cyprus. I mean, a wonderful way, way to be uh, with friends and family on a Sunday afternoon. Please the Pines, join us and come up, introduce yourselves, and let's take pictures together, make memories for now and in the future. Mm -hmm. Make memories forever. Ladies, thank you very much. Thanks, John. Take care, thank see you, you. soon. All right. see you soon. And with that, we have come to the end of this fascinating, lively edition of A Cup of Conversation. Until the next time we meet here on BRT2 TV, take care and go well. Bye-bye.